Hey guys, welcome to today's video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add external samples to your FL Studio. Probably you just um, downloaded bundles of samples and then, um, or probably somebody just gave you some samples you would want to add to your FL Studio. Or probably you just came across some kind of samples you love so much and you would want to have them in your FL Studio project and you don't know how to add them. I'm just going to show you some simple steps where you can actually get to add your external samples to your FL Studio that you easily have access to them in FL Studio and get to use them in FL Studio. All right. So guys, let's jump into the PC. Let me show you. Okay. So what do you do? Um, open up your FL Studio. So just ensure you open up your FL Studio. And once your FL Studio opens up, um, there are different ways to go about this, but I'm just going to show you the simple step. Okay. So just go to options in your FL Studio. Okay. And you will see different things like MIDI settings, audio settings, general settings, file settings, theme settings, uh, manage plugins, and all of these. Well, from this to this can actually take you there, but just one step to get there is just to go to file settings. When you get to file settings, you are going to see um, this place open up, right? And if you look at it here, uh, we have like up to like, let me say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I think there is still more down. See, see guys, all the way down. So the good thing FL Studio has actually done is that they give you room to make sure that you get to add enough samples. Probably you have samples in different locations. You may want to bring them into FL Studio and get to use them. You have these places to, to, to add your samples, which is so nice and so cool. Okay. So of course you can see said browser extra search folder. So here you have this place to have your extra search folders being added to it okay so what do you do first of all you need to know the location of that sample one of the things i do is that i have dedicated hard drive for the samples alone okay i have dedicated hard drive i have my own hard drive and a location in that hard drive where i just get to store my samples well if you have that that is nice but if you don't what you should do is to make sure that you have a, defi a defined location where you have that sample folder um, saved, okay? Probably you have it saved in your documents or you have it saved somewhere in your PC. For instance, now let's assume I have it saved in my documents and I want it to come into FL Studio so that I can get to see it in FL Studio somewhere around this area here. What I would do is that, or what you should do wherever you have it saved is just look for an empty space here you click by the time you click on it it's going to say change browser directory now it's going to open up a window now this is taking me straight to my document now let's assume um what i have or what i want to add is on that studio one or somewhere let's assume this is my folder studio one and once i click on it i can just say select folder Okay, so just go to that your sample, just uh, sample folder, click on it and select folder. By the time you select folder, you will see that automatically it will appear here. So once it appears here, the next thing you do is that you close this guy up. Once you close this guy up, automatically you are going to see that display here. Now, let me show you my own now. Let me show you my own. Okay file settings now if you look at this this is g this is a, a hard drive location g all right so hard drive directory or location g now g you can see samples right if i come here you will see it samples this is it here under the samples look at it these are the things i have inside this particular g samples okay you can see it here all right now this is g again samples two if you can see, look at it here, samples too. If I open it, you can see these are the things I have inside this guy here. All right. Now, if you look at it, G, part wave. All right. So if you come down, look at it here. Okay. It's, it's up here. 
if you check this place you'll see parts wave you see that now if you check again g fluency drums kit uh volume one right now if you can look at this place you can see fluency drums uh, drum kits volume one so guys that is just what you do okay you can see my fluency drum kit volume one here okay if you check the again g i'm a piano sample loop look at it here i'm a piano sample loop so guys this is just the simple way you get to add your samples to your fs studio that your fs studio get to see it and get to install it for you and trust me you have a whole lot of space here now i i will have i will have just said let me have all of this in a single folder where i will just check and do everything but these samples are many right like it's a whole lot of samples i have in each of these packs so if i have them in a single folder i will need to like keep going in and in and in through this medium to get to um locate them so i wouldn't want that so that was why i separated them but then well i don't think you could you will separate and separate and separate till you fill up all of this place right so guys you have a whole lot of space here to get to add your sample so guys that's just it about this video and it's very simple it's very simple all right i hope this video has been of help to you and i hope it was useful to you if this video was useful to you guys i i want you to encourage me by actually liking my videos um subscribing to my channels also um following my pages on facebook on instagram on tiktok all right also share this video with people uh that this will be of benefit to all right don't be selfish don't keep this for yourself alone just make sure that you share it okay share what you are learning and what you are benefiting let other people also benefit from it too as well all right but encourage us by you know just subscribing and following us all right guys so um that is it for that is that for this video if you have any other tip you may want me to like you know record a video on just send send me a message or drop a comment on the comment section and let me know the video you would want me to do a tutorial on all right so bring in your suggestion uh what you would want us to do uh videos you would want us to do and we are going to record those videos for you all right guys and also we get to do in-house training where you know people get to learn music production one-on-one -on -one. i have students i'm training all right if you would want to i don't know whichever place you are watching this from well if you want to uh, be a part of our students that would be coming to the studio to learn music production um that is a different uh discussion entirely let me know i will give you things you need to know uh we'll just Tell you things you need to know and then if that is okay by you then you come over to our studio and we start the production training process where we're going to teach you how to make beats in fact we start from music theory getting into practical where we teach you how to make beats how to mix how to edit how to mix your songs and how to master your songs and also how to score songs too as well all right different things like that from the basic level to the advanced level of, of music production we do those trainings here all right so guys i love you so much see you in our next video god bless you